This is a brain. <laughs> it's right there. Cerebral cortex, the cerebral hemisphere. Any questions? No. Okay. Now let's talk about the white matter. This is the corpus callosum. Right below it is called the septum pellucidum. The septum pellucidum is a very thin sheath that covers the lateral ventricles. Below the septum pellucidum is called the fornix. The anterior part of the fornix right here is called the anterior commissure. Okay. This white bulge here is the optic chiasm. This off-shade pink is the pituitary gland and it sits in the cell tissue. This big white bulge here is called the pons and right behind it that's called the medulla. This is the pineal body, that's the choroid plexus and this is the posterior commission. Remember how you have an anterior one, you have a posterior one as well. This is the thalamus and right below it that orange area is called the hypothalamus. There should be a line Right here. There we go. That line right there separates the superior and inferior colliculus. This is the cerebellum. Fun fact, the word cerebellum actually li means little brain. This down here is going to be the brain stem. This is the first cervical vertebrae. It's also called atlas. This is the second cervical, cervical brain, which is called the axis. Cervical the protrusion vertebrae. coming off of the axis is called the dense process or the odontoid process. Okay, that's the sphenoid sinus. Of course, you know the frontal sinus. You have the superior, middle, and inferior uh, nasal concha. Wow, that's the pharyngeal tonsil. This one right here is the palatine tonsil, and then that pink one right there is the lingual tonsil. This area is called the soft palate. You see how the soft palate actually leads into the palatine tonsil? Just to give you some frame of reference. This bony part is called the hard palate. This is the tongue. Underneath the tongue you have a muscle called the genioglossus. Well, it's technically superficial. Below it, we'll go with below. Below it is called the geniohyoid. Genio means chin. So you have a muscle going from the chin to the tongue, genioglossus, and a muscle going from the chin down to the hyoid bone, that's geniohyoid. The next muscle is going to be the mylohyoid. Literally, mylo means muscle, so it's the muscle of the hyoid bone. This blue is called the epiglottis, and this is called the larynx. This area is called the trachea, and all this is the pharynx surrounded by the esophagus. Any questions? Yeah, you forgot the tube of oxygen. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I like it. So this opening right here is the auditory tube, Austin. Hello. Auditory tube. Thank you.